Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to create a, sp a space, <clears throat> got energy moving in the throat today, uh, I create a space of healing and support for you. So I trust you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared supports you at this time. While you're coming over, I want to send out a big, huge, special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light members, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so, so much for your support. So I'm coming to you live from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Monday. Oh, what date is it? Monday, the 24th of April at exactly 10.47. Am. My plan is to, uh, hello Bettina, hi Glenda, my plan is to pull a healing energy card. So I've got healing energy cards deck two and deck one here combined and I've uh, put them together to make a 110 card deck. I'm going to use these to find our card for now, the card that the majority of us need and based on that card I'll talk about whatever comes up. And uh, then I have my quartz singing bowl, which certainly aligns with the throat chakra, which is already shifting a lot just since starting. Uh, so I'll be doing that, and then I will pull a card to go. So I trust you've been led here for a reason. What that reason is will be personal to you. It could be... A small reason it could be a huge reason but I do trust that you enjoy the time we spend together now I'll be here for about 15 minutes give or take so let's see which card do the majority of us need at this time thanks Glenda uh, what do we need to know right now to create this space of healing and support around so the best healing energy card we need in this moment is this healing energy cards number two and it's card number oh, 65 isolate the problem it's in the depth category here and down here it says change the habit understand the problem make changes Notice what isn't working. Find a solution. Transform. Observe. Discover. And take responsibility. So this is about working out what the problem is. So this is interesting to come up because of the energy at this time. And I want to link back in with the video guidance that I talked about uh, this week around feeling f like we're frozen or we're in frozen ground or our life is frozen or our relationships are frozen or we're frozen right now and there's little life coming in and we're trying to uh, crack through that ice in our life to get into life again and to, to find the uh, connection and balance and joy that's there for us in life. So this is about working out what the problem is and sometimes it's tricky, although if we are sort of wise to the energy and wise to things that play out around us, it can be somewhat easier to figure out what the problem is. So if you've got something that's going on for you and you're just confused about it and you don't know why you feel this way, you don't know why... Um, why things are, are showing up the way they are or why things are testing you, then it might be worth making time to look at what is the problem. Why do I feel this way? When did it start? Um, what does it stir within me? What is the common thread within the patterns that I'm noticing in my life at this time? And everything is connected. And this is quite interesting at times when we've got a lot of stuff going on that everything is connected somehow so what I like to do is get my journal out and write down all of the things that aren't working for me right now or that I have an issue with all the things I'm noticing 
and all the things that are working or that are going well for me at this time that I'm noticing. Because we hone in our attention and our perception on certain things and we notice certain reactions or certain problems that, uh, that come up for us at certain times. So everything that comes up at a certain time, like now, um, is connected somehow. So you might have this going on in this aspect of your life and this going on in this area and this relationship breakdown and this communication problem and this physical issue with your body. If you could write all those things down and then sort of step back, detach yourself a little bit and look at the list and look for the common thread here. What's the common thread? What are all these things that I'm noticing right now, all these problems? What are they all pointing to? Um, what's the underlying issue here? Am I feeling insecure? Do I have separation issues? Am I scared of the future? Am I scared of the unknown? Am I feeling um, lack of self-belief? Am I feeling un incapable? Am I feeling hurt? Am I feeling betrayed? What is the common feeling here that I'm noticing across these several things that are playing out in my life right now that are loud for me? And once you can isolate or figure out the common thread, then you've isolated the problem, which is back to this card. You've isolated the problem, the underlying problem, the underlying issue. And maybe sometimes the issue is that's coming to mind is that you don't want to be hurt again. You know, so there can be all sorts of issues that we're working out or all sorts of problems that we're being encouraged to really work out what that problem is so we can understand it. Because once we know what it is, then we can do things, do something about shifting that problem. So we can cut it out, we can release it, we can let it go, we can remove it if we like, if you like. We can look at turning things around, um, reassuring ourselves creating a new belief or a new truth for ourselves that is the opposite of what we thought. So, for example, if our issue that we noticed was that uh, I've been feeling really insecure and these things that have been playing out in my life are pointing to that insecurity, why do I feel insecure? When did it start? Um, is it necessary right now? Is it true for me at this time in my life? And work, once we work that out, then we can start replacing those insecure thoughts with more secure thoughts. Like, actually, I am feeling secure. I am feeling stable in my life. I have a stable relationship. I have a roof over my head. Or all the things that we might notice that are the opposite of that insecurity. Because we tend, tend to focus on that which is aligned with our wounds and our issues and our, our personal blocks. So... Is there a habit that needs changing? Is there a belief, something you believe so strongly about yourself or about others that is actually holding you back? What can you do to understand what your issue is so that you can take responsibility, find a solution and let changes come in? Yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Andrea? Like, um, usually the problem is simple. It's like overwhelm. When overwhelm starts kicking in for me or I'm on the verge of it and my mind thinks I've got a hundred and million things to do and I haven't got all the time in the world to do it. So, you know, like I'm not going to be able to cope. I can't manage this. And then I'm like, okay, let's write the big list of a hundred million things down that I feel like I need to do so that I can work out some order, some priority. What's, you know, work out some structure to this overwhelm and this million things that I've got going on. So then I get my paper and I'm prepared to write down all pages and pages and pages of things I have to do. And I write down, okay, I've got to do this, 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 this. And then it might be 10 things or less. And I'm thinking, what? My mind is totally blowing this out of proportion. So I think getting perspective on things and things may not be as big and loud and doomy and gloomy and, and overwhelming as what we think, um, getting perspective on that is really 
helpful. So making a list of your problems or issues, making a list of the things that you might feel overwhelmed by at this time, just to get perspective and go, okay, well, now I can see it down on paper. Uh, I can't think of anything else that I've got going on or that I've got to do. So this is it. Um, <laughs> what is my mind doing here? So, you know, let's just keep perspective as best as we can. And like Andrea said, sometimes it's simpler than we think at the time. So I'm going to play the singing bowl, um, the crystal quartz singing bowl, um, to support this energy. So basically we're looking at perspective, aren't we? Perspective, perception, our perception of things, the problems that we're facing in our life at this time, perhaps overwhelm if that's something that you're, you're tipped into at this time as well, and getting things out of our head and, and looking for the common thread or looking for the common commonality between the issues that we've got happening at this time. If there is something else more pressing or important that you need, like just some support or some love or some strength or whatever it might be, then I do trust that you'll receive that from the bowl. So take a nice big breath. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just listen and let the sound of the bowl support you at this time. I love it that when I talk that the bowl starts ringing just from the vibrations of my voice. That's um, very lightly tinging away here. So nice big breath and just allow yourself to settle, to find calm, but also to find perspective. If there's a problem you've got going on and you're trying to sort it out, what can you do to find the problem and to sort things out, to keep perspective. Are you willing to change? Are you willing to change your attitude, your habits, your wounds, yourself, your life, your relationships? big breath and sometimes you know it's cut it's calming ourselves down even a little bit calming ourselves down so that we can be open to change or open to improvement open to solution so if things have been quite tense and tight and stressful for you finding a bit of time to calm down and clear the head, you know, clear that storm cloud that feels like it's your own personal storm cloud that's following you around anywhere you go. And it sometimes feels like it's really coming down and com coming in over us. Um, to find some time to calm down and clear that storm cloud can help us see actually things may not be as bad as we thought or actually in honesty things are pretty bad and I need to do something about it and um, working out um, what we need to do can be easier to do when we're a bit more clear-headed so sometimes you know if we're stressed out and we're hunting and desperate for 
some solutions sometimes we just need to sort of step back a bit take a bit of a break or calm down take some big deep breaths step away or whatever is applicable in the situation it's to get a bit clear-headed connecting with our body uh, maybe make some lists isolate the problem and get perspective is the problem as big and as loud and as problematic as we think yes or no if yes let's do something about it if no let's let it go and let's keep perspective so if you just joined in I was playing the singing bowl with this card in mind which is card 80, uh, 65 called isolate the problem so I'm going to pop that card back in and I'm going to get ready to pull a card to go. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment, please share if you're inspired to. And if you'd like to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. If you'd like to learn more about me, the work I do at Temple of Balance, if you'd like to grab yourself a deck of Healing Energy Cards 1 or 2, both are available now. Um, then please have a look at templeofbalance.com.au. All right, let's grab a card to go. So I'm looking for the best card that the majority of us need now as we move forward from here. So we're looking for the best card or thing to talk about about the next 24-ish hours, especially as we make time if it's priority for us to isolate the problem work things out a little bit to help us get clear so what do we need to do to support that or move through that so the best card that the majority of us need is this here it's from deck one and it's this <laughs> card 43 i am expanding it's in the rise category and down here it says your light is expanding not your lower ego demanding so your ego your demanding ego your demanding wounded self wants you to think that it's loud and it probably is loud but it wants to, you to think that it's dominating that that's your life that's who you are but actually it's your light your truth your true essence that is growing that's expanding and that's what challenges the ego or the wounded self so we could be traveling along quite okay even in a somewhat wounded space but once we let love in once we let light in once we let truth in and once we go for that then it can challenge our ego and our wounded or our wounded self which is pretty much the same thing it can challenge that so then it gets loud it gets a bit fierce like a cornered dog you know showing its teeth and growling so we think that's getting louder we think the fear is getting louder but actually often it's our light that's challenging its existence that makes it seem loud but when we get perspective like i was talking about before when we get perspective when we clear the storm cloud that's been hovering over us and we get some clarity about the truth that actually that's not really a dog um, showing its teeth and growling at me that's just a little mouse that's uh, hiding away in the corner there then you know that can uh, shift a lot so it's our light that's growing our truth that's growing not our fear our wounded self our ego we think it is because that's the nature of it it wants to think it's consuming us and it does consume us I'm not saying it doesn't either but um, it's a perspective thing it's our light that grows. Our ego makes us think it's growing and getting louder and darker and scarier. That's our perception of the wound when we're in that space of illusion. The illusion of the wounds, which feel very real. It says release who you are for who you could become opportunities and the higher self. So this is moving forward from here. We're being encouraged to look at how we can grow our light, grow our truth grow the things that are working for us and the things we want to pursue the things that bring us joy the things that we're curious about the things that align with our values and our ethics and our truth and how we can expand those things in our life and let the other things drop away and drop out of our life experience especially the problematic things that maybe we've tried to resolve but aren't working 
Can we, um, do we need to close doors on these things? What do we need to do to shift out of that heavy energy, that storm cloud following us around, that frozen ground? And how can we move in towards the light, the truth, the love, the, um, the balance that's there for us? So how can you expand those things that are important to you? Now, this also may help to write down. Again, if we write down the things that are problematic right now and the things that are working for us right now, then how can we shift out of the problematic things or resolve them and move and focus towards the things that are working um, for us at this time? That's expanding those things, following those things that, that ring in our heart and that call to our heart rather than expanding the problem or the habit by... Um, by um oh what's the word i'm looking for by um spending too much time focusing on those things uh and the old story and the things that are problematic for us if we can we find a solution can we resolve if not can we let go that sort of thing so now i'm expanding is our card from here allow yourself to expand and grow your true self Thank you so much. Thanks for watching and connecting today. I trust this supports you. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.